Hello, Michael Friedberg here from beautiful North Carolina on the last day of summer. I have two products for review today, so let's get the shave started and we'll talk through them. I'm gonna wet my face and apply some pre-shave first. Now, let me just start off by saying this. If you are new to wet shaving, or maybe you're an old shaving wet head, it's kind of hard to imagine that it's gonna get any better than this. I mean, if you are just getting started into this hobby, you have an amazing range of products to pick from. You have old classics, True Fit and Hill. You have your delightful Mitchell's Wool Fat. You have your Trumpers, Taylor of Old Bond Street. God, you have so many choices. Think about how many Italian soaps or Portuguese soaps or different styles of razors and vintage razors and God knows what. So if you are starting out in this hobby, you really have an amazing range of things to choose from. And you don't just have the old classics for soaps, obviously. You have a very wide array of newcomers. You've got Katie's Bubbles and Mike's and Crete Charlotte's Soaps. And you have a host of people, Tiki and Barrister and Men, and it just goes on and on. So you just, just it's just going amazingly right now. So I have two things to review for today, both of which are new. The first of which has been kindly provided to me for review by BB Lush. It's a shave soap. This is a bay rum, clove, and orange. Uh, this is slightly different for me because I've been using soft soaps for quite a while. This is a hard soap. It's four ounces in a small metal tin. Uh, if you are one of those people that loves to preserve the original label, just be forewarned. This version comes with the paper label. The vendor is switching over to a plastic waterproof label so that it will stay in immaculate shape as you go through and use it. Uh, it has just this is just actually been really nice. I've been shaving with this for about a week, and it does have uh, bay rum, sweet orange, and clove essential oils with shea butter, cocoa butter, and mango butters. Chlorophyll for color. So if you take a look, really interesting green kind of stands out a bit from some of the other soaps on the market. I'll be shaving with that today, but I will also be shaving with a razor that I have never used before. Indeed, the mongoose. Well, I went for the mongoose with the dub slim handle. I cannot imagine how ginormous the dub legend handle is. I mean, this is already big, really heavy. Razor is incredibly solid. Machine from stainless steel throughout. It snaps together perfectly, placing the blade, which I've never used one of these single edge blades before. It's incredibly easy to load. It basically just snaps right into place in the top cap. You put the base plate on, you wiggle it just a little bit, snap clicks into place, screw the head on, and done. And you can, of course, because of the standard thread here, use a variety of handles on this razor, handles of, of your liking, um, smaller or heavier if you need to, although heavier, really? Uh, but you can also use, obviously, move this head from, from handle to handle, or just reuse this handle on something like this. I can't even imagine how that's gonna go, but I am gonna try that, not today. So just be forewarned, First shave with this. I have no idea how this is going to go. I have some of the Razor Rock Prebarba pre shave on. Just so y'all know, that's what I'm using right now. I'm going to go ahead and get lathered up and let's see how we do. Scent on the soap, by the way, is it's nice. It is not one of these really heavy, sort of cloyingly clovey bay rum scents. Um, bay rum is not my, my scent of choice, not the first thing I would go for, but in fact, this has kind of a nice mild bay rum scent to it. Not, not overly strong. The clove is not the first thing you smell. In fact, there's sort of an undertone, a sweet undertone, and that's the orange. And that orange really comes out when you start the lather. In the tin, more of a bay rum scent. As you're lathering on your face, orange really starts to come out, so quite nice. So let me just get the brush loaded. Yeah, it is a little bit small, the tin, compared to some of the larger sizes of tins that are going around now. There seems to be a movement towards these ginormous tins. Well, this is a little bit smaller, but no worries. I can still get a very good load off this. All right, that should be plenty to start with. First hard soap I've used in quite a while, by the way, so that was an interesting move back. All right, let's go and get lathered up. As I said, I, I just cannot imagine what it must be like for all these new wet shavers. You see the posts all the time about Request for help. Tell me what to buy. Well, 
the list of what you could buy just gets longer and longer and longer. You just have so many great options. I mean, if you're in a period where people are actually bringing new razor styles to the market, which is something that the guys at Mongoose, Bruce Weber, Mad Glass bring in, they've had some fantastic help from Paul Bambino and David Marshburn for testing. Yeah, getting a really nice lather out of this. There we go. I'm going to add a touch of water. If you're trying to figure out what to start with, well, when I did that Mission Razor review, that was kind of a shot across the bow about some of the established favorites for the DE89 or the Mercury 23C. Now you have people bringing out alternatives to sort of more higher end single edge razors. Letting a whole new generation of people get a better feel for what those look like. Yeah, okay, good. Good ladder. All right. Yeah, I can really smell the orange now. Clove takes kind of a back seat there. All right, well, here we go. First shave, first shave with the mongoose. Uh, people have pointed out this is shiny. <laughs> I would totally agree it is shiny. It's, it's you know, highly polished stainless steel. And, uh, you know, so far, should I be nervous about the no knurling? We're going to find out. So far, it feels really heavy, solid in the hand. Now the head is much wider. I think it's two inches wide, and so definitely wider than your standard DE, but I'm going to be careful. This is two plus days of growth. You know, I can see where there are going to be spots where I need to be careful because of the width, but this blade is very sharp and so far very smooth. This sort of feels like when you buy those oversized windshield wipers for your car. Yeah, you can just see right there, I want to be a little bit careful. That's a little more blade touching your face than otherwise. Alright, so far so good. Now, I don't know about the rest of you, for whatever reason, I think they call it aging, getting a bit more gray in my beard. There was already some, but when you let it grow out a couple days, you can really see just, uh, you know, how much there is. Seems a little tougher, a little more, a little more wiry. All right, so far so good. Handle not slippery. I was afraid this would be kind of too heavy, but I don't think so. Double legend might have been. I believe there are plans to bring out some additional handle styles. I, I know they're nowhere near done on producing these razors. I think they've only just started. Love to see where that's going to go. All right. You know, like a lot of these vegetables based soaps, you get a really nice. Sort of slick, you rinse, still very, very good. And scent, really quite nice. All right, let's go for pass number two. I may only do two passes in the interest of time.
You know, it's funny having in the last year plus shave with razors from all ends all over the spectrum. Uh, just recently had a couple comments posted on that dollar store eight for a buck razor, which really was just as terrible as I thought it was going to be. And then you come to this <laughs> solid stainless steel, heavy. Uh, okay, this is going to be. I just need to watch my ear here. Yeah, so far so good. This has really been uh, actually very, very easy to shave with. Really nice, smooth face feel. Soap is really working well. All right. Yeah, right there, I'm gonna watch it. If I'm gonna get cut, that's where it's gonna be. Just... Yeah, with the size of that head and sort of the uh, dense bristly hair around your chin, uh, I think that definitely warrants a bit of care. Now, to be fair, most morning shades, I'm obviously not talking. It is amazing how easy it is to cut yourself when you're talking and shaving. Still nice and slick, did not overload the brush. Yeah, this, in terms of face feel, I don't think you'd classify this razor as aggressive, but there is a lot of blade. Blade is rigid and very sharp. But it's always worth giving that part there a try. A little bit of buffing. Yeah, there we go. Okay, wow, well, I'm gonna leave it at that. That is a very similar skin feel for me as the Jaws. Yeah, that is a very close. I'm gonna leave it at that for the two passes just to keep the video down, but I don't think a third pass would be a problem at all. You just really need to watch the, the weight and the pressure with that. That is a sharp, easy to use razor though, must say. Construction obviously is, well, it's top notch there. Stainless steel throughout, heavy. When you screw the head on, it's incredibly solid, feels great. Loading the blade was easy peasy. Highly recommended. Yep, not bad. Not bad at all, felt really quite nice. The, uh, the aftershave face feel of that BB Lush soap is really nice. With no tightness in my skin, I don't feel dried out, and in fact, yeah, still good set going. All right, let me rinse my face a little bit. Ah, nice. All right, well, 
go and wipe my face off. And then I'm going to close off the shave. With what I call the Moises Barrera Special. So, recently just got a tube of this 444 aftershave gel. Um, it's pretty mentholated. So, what you do is you just put a drop in your hand. Uh, put that up there. And then, what you do is you add to that. Your aftershave. Now, I know this looks like the 888. In fact, it's not. I'm just reusing the bottle. It's the uh, There is Rock Baby Blue. A couple sprays. Mix the two together in your hands. Comme ça, as they say. Yeah. Definitely understand why people do this. This is a really nice combination of sort of the glycerin glycerin gel with menthol with a cooling effect nice smooth face feel when you apply it and mix your aftershave in there as well yep quite liking that feels good goes on easy smells great cooling effect is certainly appreciated in the warm summer months see how it goes when things start to get a little cooler around here all right well that was a wonderful last day summer shave let's just review again what we've used today number one another another new entry on the shaving soap market bb lush shave soap this is the bay rum clove and orange scent it is a hard soap uh, still all crazy and leathery hearts hard puck interesting color which actually i found kind of cool so definitely something different than the uh, many of the other shaves, you know, shave soaps on the market. Uh, that worked out really quite nice. He'll definitely continue to use that. Uh, also, the mongoose. I really wasn't quite prepared. I really didn't know what to expect. And this is way heavier than any razor I've used. Definitely the handle style. It would seem slick. Um, this huge, much bigger head, super sharp blade that you'd normally have, and kind of a shave that style. You know, feather art or something like that. Still, that was a very easy, very quick, comfortable shave. Uh, just had to learn how to use it around some of the tighter spots. But that turned out quite nice. Must say, very impressive that Bruce Weber, Matt Glass, and the others have done an amazing job of that. Really good. And it just goes to show that both on the shave soap side and on the razor side, there's all kinds of new things happening. So like I said at the beginning of the video, if you are new to wet shaving or an old hand, you just have an ever-increasing range of options ahead of you. Yes, you could stick with your, you know, five blade Gillette set of cartridges for 38 bucks. But you know what? I think there are much better options out there. Options like the ones you just saw here today. I want to thank you again so much for watching. And until next time, goodbye.